Good morning, everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Hi. So today's video is going to be advice that I have accumulated over literally like the past like two or three months that has elevated not only my mind, but in turn... The reason I wanted to make this video in the first place, even as a whole, is because I feel like society right now is like really indoctrinating, especially like in like my generation, this whole like idea of like grind culture where you just like wake up, grind, go to sleep, grind, don't sleep, grind, eat, grind. Anyways, you understand my point. And like there are so many things that I feel like are just wrong with that concept to where like success doesn't come about just because you wake up earlier than everybody else and just because you go to sleep later than everyone else. Like first off. Anyways, I wanted to quickly just let you all know some things that I have learned um, over the past couple months that have really helped me and hopefully helped you too. So make sure you're listening. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to become an annihilator because we are the best. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So thing number one, do not be so engulfed with trying to make money. Instead, be engulfed in your craft. Be more concerned about how you're making that money and like the productivity of your business instead of just like the foundation of making money. I cannot tell you how much this little piece of advice has changed my life. I wanted to do this sort of like business venture a little while ago and um, someone said like, oh, like you're just, you keep talking about the money, the finances, the this, the that. And though finances are really important, right? That's like why you're... So for some people, that's ultimately why you even started the business in the first place was for a finance, right? But if you're just so worried about finances, like that's just going to cause so many little holes into your plan to where you're not going to be able to actually accumulate that wealth that you're looking for. So be more focused on your business and your craft and then the finances will come in turn with that. I feel like somebody on C right now. Advice number two. And this is something that I feel like a lot of people have talked about, but really do not implement into their lives as much as I think that they really should. And this is kind of going back to like debunking the entire like grind culture ideology. And that is work smarter, not harder. Hear me out. I have seen so much more success whenever I just wake up, have a consistent schedule and go to sleep at like a reasonable time wake up at a reasonable time and just get things done and like have goals and steps for myself and work smarter then whenever i'm just like oh no i have to wake up at 5 a.m and i can't go to sleep until 10 p.m and i have to be grinding from this time to this time and no because whenever i did do that because i did do that because that's what i thought like the recipe was right in terms of like the internet and I burnt out like on day three I was like oh, I'm not doing this anymore like it's a gradual build up and change and like I also want to add to that don't beat yourself up because you can't be consistent on day three consistency and building habits is not built into a day it's not built into a week and sometimes it's not even built into a month so but yeah y'all make sure that you're working smarter and not harder like Working harder is just going to burn you out. Working smarter is going to make sure that you get what you want done. You're going to get to your goals faster. All of that stuff. So do that, okay? Numero tres. It's great to have a dream, but a dream without any action will always remain a dream. And to be able to make that dream come true, you need to set aside goals to get to that dream. It's like a gradual step up. In case my uh, explanation didn't make sense. What I'm saying is, is that having an overarching dream, right? Let's just say to make a million dollars in a week, right? Having this overarching dream without any action for one is just going to always stay a dream, okay? Like that's just number one. But those actions, instead of being so focused on that overarching higher goal, you need to be focused on little goals that then slowly build up and increment to that higher goal. So instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to make a goal to make a million dollars this week. Say, you know what, I'm going to make a goal to make an LLC. I'm going to make a goal to raise money for this. I'm going to make a goal to seek this smaller goals that will then equal up to your higher goal i kind of ties into my first point do not be so money oriented okay be goal and process oriented that's what i should have said okay my third thing that i want to talk about is patience i am someone who i am the most unpatient person ever i literally have this mentality that the world revolves around me and if something does not go my way it's just basura but y'all, if there's one thing that has literally helped me keep my peace these past two weeks, because I just feel so like at peace and fulfilled, not only because my spiritual life is just like heightened so, so much, but because I have acquired the skill of patience, okay? Understanding that things take time to develop and some of the best things in the world happen over a longer period of time. So you have to be patient. Like it's really, really important. Like 
Patience is a virtue. It's not easy, but it's key to success. Remember okay. that. And my last thing that I wanted to come on here and talk about is something that I have gained from experience. And I really wanted to share it with you all because it's something that I wish people had told me. Well, they probably did, but I wasn't like listening for, you know. Absolutely nothing good in this world comes easy. The entire purpose of that last point, honestly, is just to reiterate that even things that seem like they would be so simple, like things go wrong, things, are unknown things happen to where you have to take a step back and reevaluate so course correction is going to be something that is crucial to success and even whenever you are successful how to be even more successful later you know that way your success just doesn't have a ceiling so yeah but yeah y'all that's my helpful little bit of advice for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some sort of <sighs> What is it called? I hope you found some sort of enlightenment within this entire video. Um, and I just hope I at least taught one person something new that is gonna take their business from point A to point B. So you're welcome. But yeah, y'all, that's gonna conclude today's video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to come on night later once again because we are the best. Thank you all so, so much for watching and like always, I'll see you in the next one. So to keep my energy high, to have a nice productive day, I've been starting taking these little green shots from Magic Mind. Like many of you, I'm sure I struggle with procrastination and keeping my focus sometimes. So these little green shots have been helping me tremendously. Just from taking these in the past three days, I've already noticed a tremendous improvement in my sleep schedule and my focus. The reason it works so well is because it has neutral topics and lion's mane, which boosts your clarity and focus, which is why I highly recommend this product. The entire purpose of the shot is to reduce procrastination and to increase your focus, so it's literally great. Here's me trying it for like the first time. It actually tasted pretty good. Like a lot of these energy shots do not taste good. It has like a little like sweet kick to it, so definitely good. Shop Magic Mine by using my code in the description box below for some money off. And always remember, if you don't like it, it's 100% back guarantee. Bye.